good morning everyone so i am welcoming you everyone each and every one for our next it class so today we are going to move to the next portion of this chapter i know there is no introduction or special introduction about this chapter because we have already finished the half section that means about computer network its advantages and its disadvantages also some of the types of computer network today we are going to move to the next portion that is data transmission media once again data transmission media this topic is referred or this topic is about the devices that help us to transmit our data we need some media for transmitting or transferring our network from one to another so we need some medias so today we are going to discuss about the medias that help us to transmit our network from one device to another device that is known as data transmission media so this data transmission media is divided into two guided media and the second one is unguided media so these are the two medias that helps or these are the two uh, types of medias that helps us to transfer our network from one device to another so the first one is guided and another one is unguided guided means it is wired connection and unguided means wireless connection so these are the two first one is guided means wired connection and unguided means wireless connection so uh, by wired and unwired we can transfer our data from one device to another there are so many options so today we are going to start the first one that is guided media that means the medias that helps us to transmit our data that means through a wired connection so that means some cables are needed for sending our network from one device to another device they are referred as guided media so in your textbook page number 6 you can see three types of guided media the first one is twisted pair cables so the first guided media is twisted pair cables twisted pair cables you can see the picture in your textbook that means the wires are twisted insulated and twisted each other that means two wires will be there it will be twisted each other so most probably it is used for the first use is for telephone network for telephone network these twisted pair cables are used the another specialty is it is the oldest media used twisted pair cables are oldest medias used for transmitting our network that means the wires are twisted and also we can see that it is cheaper very cheaper in cost so once again children by looking into your textbook it's, it's so clear for you that is twisted pair cables the first guided media is twisted pair cables it is the oldest media we have used for transmitting our network and the specialty is the wires are twisted and also it is most probably used for our telephone network so in the textbook it is so clear with the picture the first one is twisted pair cables and the second one is what coaxial cable the second one is coaxial cable its picture is also clear in your textbook it is used for television in television network it the television cable tv and small networks this coaxial cable is used for table sorry cable tv networks you can see the picture then the specialty is strong and flexible than twisted pair cables it's very strong and flexible than twisted pair cables it's more clear for us when we are looking the both pictures the first picture of twisted pair cable and when we are looking to the picture of coaxial pair cable we can we can itself assume that coaxial cable is more strong and flexible than 
twisted pair cable so twisted pair cables are used for telephone networks but coaxial cables are more over used for cable tv networks now the third one is fiber optic cable fiber optic cables this picture is another uh, cable line we are using for transmitting our networks you can see the picture it's different from very much different from a twisted pair cable and coaxial cable because you can see the uh, picture you can see it is very thinner when compared to twisted pair cables and coaxial cable you can see the picture you can see here it's very thinner and very closer that means very thinner and very lighter each cables are that much they are done just like in a thin way and in a lighter way but it's very expensive fiber optic cables are very expensive but the best thing is we can transmit data more faster than coaxial pair cable cable and twisted pair cables so children once again we can discuss about these three cables that means the topic is about tra data transmission media what do you mean by data transmission media from the name itself data transmission media data means what the data or the files we want to send using through network transmission means we are tra transferring a media means a medium that is used for us to send and receive so for us when we are using the network when we are sending some data and when we are receiving some networks we need a media we are discussing about that so that data transmission media is divided into two guided media and unguided media in a easy way we can say that guided means a wired media unguided means wireless media these are the specialty these are the difference between guided and unguided i know the term guided and unguided are not familiar for you so when we are hearing the names it's so much difficult about the meaning so the meaning is guided means media means wired media connection will be the wired connection will be the but in the case of unguided media means no no network that means no wired connection that means it is a wireless media so for after that we have discussed about three wired uh, three guided medias first one is twisted pair cables children twisted pair cables means it is the oldest media used for telephone network we are using this twisted pair cables for telephone network also the specialty is the wires are twisted the second one is coaxial cable okay coaxial cables means the media that is used for transmitting cable tv network and also when we are compared to twisted pair cables we can see the picture is strong and flexible so when we are compared to twisted pair cable coaxial cable is more flexible and strong and it is used in cable tv network third one is fiber optic cables the picture is more clear for you it is very expensive not only expensive it is very thinner and lighter but the special very the good point is it's very fast as compared to we can transfer data so we can transfer our uh, files and everything more faster than twisted pair cables and coaxial cable so these are the three medias guided medias used for transmission of data now we are going to discuss about the next media that is unguided media or we can say that wireless media that means what we doesn't need any cable lines for sending and receiving our datas that means wireless uh, for example space air or space it will transmit through air and space that means no need of a special cable line for sending and receiving our datas this is unguided media so now we are going to discuss about the first unguided media that is radio waves
So in your textbook, it's clearly given the picture of radio waves. You can see here waves are passing through the, uh, from one side to another, from the transmitter to the receiver. No cable lines are there. Through air, it is transmitting. So that means uh, radio waves means what? Another type of unguided media or we can say that another type of wireless media. And the speciality is it is having a transmitter and a receiver. Transmitter means the source from where it is going, who is sending. That center is known as transmitter and the who is receiving they are known as receiver. So the speciality is one transmitter and more receivers will be there. The best example is radio FM. You have heard that no one from a, a particular place it is uh, sending the sound and the music everything is sending but so much receivers are hearing that only one transmitter will be there but so much receivers will be there it is known as radio waves once again radio waves means there is no special cables it is passed wirelessly one transmitter and so many receivers will be there. Transmitter will send the data and receivers will accept it or receive it. That is known as radio waves. Best example is radio, FM and all. You can see here, it is transmitting and receiver is receiving that. It's just like radio waves. Waves are passing from the sender to receiver. I hope it's clear for you. Now we are going to discuss the next one as that is microwaves. As compared to radio waves, microwaves are much faster. Compared to radio waves, microwaves are much faster and the speciality is we discussed about radio waves one uh, transmitter and so many receivers will be there the waves are passing but in the case of microwaves it is just like a straight line the uh, waves are passing through a straight line that means from in, from a tower it is sending and echo the, uh, things around that tower will only get that network so in page number eight in page number 8, the picture is given. You can see here that from this transmission line, it is passing straightly. Transmitter is sending and receiver is accepting. It is a straight line. That means around 10 kilometers the waves will be receiving. But if you are out of that place, it cannot be accepted or it cannot be reached. So that is known as what? Microwaves. You can see the picture in the textbook. Okay, so once again, radio waves, my, sorry, microwaves means it's much faster than radio waves. And other speciality means the transmitter is sending from a tower in a straight way. In a straight way, it is passing around 10 kilometers, and only the uh, receivers who is around 10 kilometers will only get that network. Now I'm going to discuss uh, about third one that is infrared. The third one is infrared. Sorry, there is a Infrared it is very helpful. Infrared means only the name is uh, somewhat difficult, but the term is very familiar to you. Infrared means another wireless net, uh, media. Best example is the remote that you are using for your television. What about the television? You, all of us are having television in your home and for the working of that we are using a remote. That remote, this system is known as infrared media. That means in a uh, short area it is uh, bounded. That means in the case of remote, what happens in the case of remote? If the television is sitting in one place and if we are using that remote from another place, it will not be working. R uh, infrared means in a short period, in a short space, it is working. 
so and also the another special if you are using the remote just like this in a straight way only it is working if the television is here and if i am keeping the remote in any other circle will it works no in a short a period short uh, distance it will work in a straight way just like microwaves so that is infrared its picture is also in the textbook it's very clear so example of infrared waves is remote control for television not only for television so many other sources we are using remote control that is infrared waves now the next one is bluetooth so i know there is any special description about bluetooth because it's familiar for everyone bluetooth means what it is also bounded in a short area that means if i am enabled by bluetooth and the person who is sitting around that place only get that network that means bluetooth is another wireless network that is bounded in a short or small area so hope it's clear for you <coughs> now the fifth one is wifi wifi is that is the next one it's also the term also very familiar for you wifi is also another unguided media using this unguided media we can share our network to others it is also having some particular uh, distance only inside that particular distance we can send or receive network data using network so this is another uh, media used by wireless connection so children it's i hope it's clear for everyone about guided and unguided medias so unguided media means wireless media and we have discussed the five unguided medias the first one is radio waves radio waves means what it is passed without any cables you know wireless means there will be no cable lines will be there so radio waves means it will be having a transmitter and a receiver the transmitter is sending uh, the network to others without uh, sorry others in that place that means in best example is radio fm that means the transmitter is sending and the receivers not one receiver so many receivers will be there they will be receiving it that is radio waves the next one is microwaves microwaves is somewhat faster than radio waves that means the transmitter will be it's just like a tower from the tower we are sending the network but it will pass us only in a straight line that is a speciality of microwaves and the third one is infrared the best example is a remote if in the case of television remote control means it will works only in a short area and also in a straight way just like microwaves and the fourth one is bluetooth bluetooth is another unguided or wireless media using that media we can send and receive data in a short space and the last one is wifi Wi-Fi is also another wireless media. Using this media, we can send and receive our data in a particular distance. So, children, these are the guided and unguided medias we we are using nowadays. So, guided means wired connection, and unguided means wireless connection. I hope it's clear for everyone. Now, we are moving to the next topic, that is network topology. what is the topic network topology i know the term topology is not familiar for you topology means the way in which we are connecting the devices so for a computer network we need some devices and we are connecting them so in a, some ways will be the in some in some ways we are connecting so we are going to discuss about that network topologies three network topologies in this chapter so once again network topology means the way in which we are connecting the devices in a network connection so the first 
network topology we are going to discuss is bus topology the first one is bus topology just like the name itself it's just like a bus a straight line, uh, cable will be the the we are having some computers just like that we are connecting that means in in the center we one cable line is passing in the picture you can it's very clear this is the bus or this is the backbone we can call it as the bus so back, backbone of this connection so children the first topology is bus topology this is the connect just the somewhat like this way we are connecting that in a center there will be a cable that is the backbone or the bus it is called as bus or backbone it will be there and in the two sides of that bus we are connecting the computers so the best speciality is we need only the installation is very easy and also less cabling is needed you know that only one center bus is moving that means less cabling is needed and also it's very easily we can set up that that is the uh, advantages of bus topology but it is having some disadvantages that means if anything happens to this bus all the computers on that network will be failed once again uh, we uh, discuss that this is the backbone or this is the bus of that connection if any failure has happened to this backbone what happens to the computers in that connection every computers will be failed that is the first disadvantage the second disadvantage is it's very difficult to find out in which computer the failure happened if any failure happened to any of the computers it's very difficult for us to find out that failure so these are the two disadvantages and the next one is there is a limitation for the number of devices for connecting to this bus network so children so we have discussed the, about bus topology topology means the way in which we are connecting the devices the first topology is bus topology bus topology is just like a bus itself in center there is a backbone or we will call it as a bus and two sides we are connecting computers the very is uh, very ad best advantage is it's very easily we can set up or we can say that less cabling is needed but it is having some disadvantages the first one we can see that uh, if anything happens to this bus or backbone the entire computers will be failed the second one we can see that it's very difficult to find out to which computer the failure happened a third one is there is a limitation for adding the computers in this connection so these are the disadvantages of bus topology now look at the picture in your textbook and it is more clear for you now the second topology is star topology sorry next one is ring topology just like the name it's just like a ring one computer will be the here another computer will be the just like ring it is connected that means in a circle shape it is connected so you can see here it is bounded in a circle way that means in a ring way so it is also having some advantages and disadvantages the advantage first we can discuss about the advantage advantage is just like bus topology less cabling is needed only less cabling is needed for ring topology and its installation is very easy then what is the next thing we can see that it is very easier to identify the ring network to which network the failure happens it is easier to identify that here it is 
you can see that it is easier to identify the fault in a ring network what is the fault it is very easily we can find out and also it it needs only less cabling its setup cost also is very low cost so these are the advantages now we can discuss about the disadvantage was first one a failure in any cable or device breaks the loop that means if anything happens to any of the computers complete loop will be failed just like bus stop or if anything happens to one computer one connection all the connection will be failed what is the next disadvantage it is very slow to send and receive message because why it will most here what happens if this is sending first it will reach here after completing here it will reach the next one after completing here just slowly one by one it is going and coming so it is very slow and what is the third one removal and that means removal of connection and uh, adding of connection is very difficult in between if we want to remove any connection it is very difficult or in between if we want to add some connection also it is very difficult so children ring topology means it's just like the name it is in a circle way the advantage is what it's very easily we can set up less cabling is needed very low cost and also if any fault happens we can easily identify the disadvantages are what happens if any of the uh, workstation have happened any failure complete loop will be failed down the next one is sending and receiving messages will be very slow and what is the third one the uh, removal and addition and removal of uh, computers will be very difficult so these are the disadvantages of ring topology now we are moving to the third topology that is star topology so it's just like a star The star topology is just like a star. You can see here in the center there is a device that is known as hub. In the center there will be a hub that means the central system. So whatever messages we are sending and receiving first will it will reach here in the hub. So if you want to send some message first it will be from the hub. From the hub it is moving to the certain places. just like that the working of star topology so its special to its advantage is if any failure happens to any of these connection other connection will not be affected so if here any connection every failure will happens others will work very uh, properly or smoothly nothing will happen to the remaining connections that is the first advantage the second one is if any failure happens we can easily identify that to which thing happens we can identify very easily and the next one is new connection can be added or removed without any problem so once again if any uh, failure happens to any of the connection others will not be affected they can work very smoothly and also the fault detection can be easily done and also the next third advantage is we can uh add or remove the connection without any problem and it is also having some disadvantages its setup cost is very high because so much cabling you can see so much cabling is here that means setup cost is very high and the other disadvantages if anything happens to the central hub all the connection will be failed so if anything happens to the central hub all the connection will be failed So children these are the three topologies we are using once again the first one is bus topology is just like a bus connection are in the two sides a sender bus will be the ring topology just like a ring you can see each computer each connection is connected in a ring way 
A third one is star topology, just like a star. In center, there will be a hub and all the messages are sent and received at the first stage. It happens here in the hub. So these are the topologies we have discussed. So the thing you want to do is you want to look the textbook, the pictures and first of all you want to read the textbook then it is more clear for you. Now we are moving to the last part of this chapter. So the last part is network devices. So, the first one is modem, the second one is NIC, hub, switch. So, these are the four devices we use in network. We use these devices for connecting. So, if uh, we, want, we want anything happen to our company, that means if we want to connect our uh, more connections we can use the switch or hub. So these devices are used to connect a network, network for an efficient communication. For communicating more efficiently we can use these devices. Once again the network devices are modem, network interface card that is NIC, hub and switch. So that means our chapter is over. So once again today's class we have discussed the three topics. The first one is data transmission media. It is of two types guided and unguided. Guided means wired in that it comes twisted pair cables, coaxial cable and fiber optic cable. And the next one is unguided that means radi wireless, radio waves, microwaves, bluetooth, infrared, Wi-Fi. Network topology, that means the way we are connecting. That means we discuss the three, bus, star and ring. And here comes the last topic, network devices. That means the devices that help us to make our communication more efficient. The devices are modem, NIC, hub band switch. So children, read the textbook at least three times. It's very compulsory because you are in seventh standard. That means more to cover. So read the textbook three times and also you can look at the pictures that pictures will help, help you in more way. And also read the textbook if you have any doubt we can clear that in the uh, Google Meet. So our chapter is over now. So more works further activities will be in Google Classroom. So you can check Google Classroom and you can do your work. So after completing your works the chapter will be more clear for you. So first chapter is over here. So until we meet the next class, I am just winding up. Thank you.